Sheila and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to continue with my lemon theme in my dining room. We're going to decorate this stand that I've got. I bought it a few months ago and actually I was going to use it uh, in the foyer and then I changed my mind so I just kind of left it here. So I want to decorate it, you know, continue with the lemon theme. Also, I uh, show y'all how I did my shelves over here in the corner right there. I kind of did them already, so I may not do a decorate with me with those because I like the way it looks. I don't want to change it up too much. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we're going to finish up by doing a little something that I want to do for the middle of my table to kind of bring my tablescape together. And that That's next cool. week, I get to show you all my chairs and kind of, you know, pan back and show you how everything looks together with my lemon theme dining room. So. I'm super excited for next week. I'm so ready for these chairs. I'm telling you, they wait forever. But anyway, so that is what our plans are today. Now, after we finish up being here in the dining room, we probably will visit a few areas that I want to refresh some certain places on the walls. I want to kind of redo them. Then we'll probably go outside on my patio and uh, give it a refresh for the spring. And you know, I got to go ahead and maybe because I've got to wipe it down. It is so, all the pollen, oh my gosh. So I want to clean it up, maybe put a new rug down, uh, you know, decorate it a little bit. So, and then come back in here and probably then we'll probably start doing some nautical decorating. So lots more coming up and I'm so ready to get it started. Enough of me jabbing. Let's go ahead and point y'all down and go ahead and get started decorating my stand here, okay? All right, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm gonna kind of show y'all now what the stand I'm talking about. It's this uh, two level stand. I picked it up at Home Goods uh, around $199, I think. Um, I really, really liked it. And I had bought it for the purpose of me putting it in here in the foyer, um, you know, in my entryway, but I decided not to. So I've kind of left it here. I kind of swapped what was here for in the foyer, in there, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, uh, I do like it here, but uh, and I have had already decorated a little bit and I kind of took all that stuff off. And I did leave the lamp here and my little mini uh, ladder. I probably will keep those two here because I because I do like my lamp and this little ladder. I enjoy it so much. I'm gonna bring it with my the rest of the stuff I got going on. So I just want to kind of show y'all what it looks like. Isn't that pretty? I love the size. See, it's kind of like open. Sorry, don't look right there. That's my plugins. <laughs> but anyway, here it is. I'm gonna put it down a little bit more. Y'all can see how it's kind of open on the size. Really, really nice. Love it. But anyway, now I did leave this runner here. Um, it's a like yellow and white, and it's got this little ruffles. I did leave it on there because I like the yellow part to it. So, but anyway, uh, I'm just going to kind of briefly show y'all what it looked like. All right, let me bring y'all up some, and we're going to go ahead and start decorating the top. So hang on. Okay, again, I'm going to leave the lamp right here. Y'all, I paid uh, 20 bucks for this lamp at Hobby Lobby, I love it, love it. And I love that the slam look to it. I was going to try to get me two of these to put them in my bedroom, but I can't find the mate to, I don't know that this continued, but I love this lamp. And then here I've got this little mini ladder. Y'all have seen this uh, lots of times. I got this yellow and white gingham. Uh, it's like a little tea towel. And then I got um, these little greenery things here. I can't never remember the name of these, it will escape me. And I just kind of leave it like that. Now I'm also using it for another purpose to block my little Alexa here. Uh, so I just kind of leave it right here and kind of sit this on it, kind of like this right like Let's that. Put it right back over top. I mean, you can still see it and it still can hear me anyway. So we'll leave this right here. I'm gonna kind of leave it just like so. And then these are some of those little beads here. I just kind of leave it on the side, kind of hanging down. Okay, the first thing, first thing I want to put on here, um, I don't want to put too much because I do use some of the top. Put everything on here, I do want to leave it some areas where, you know, because I do use it from time to time. So I want to start off by using this beautiful Ray Dunn water pitcher. Um, probably got it from Home Goods, probably. But I did put these beautiful tulips y'all know me and tulips i can hear y'all now <laughs> but i love the two-tone to these look are they not gorgeous i mean beautiful so i just put them in the opening here and kind of bent them here and there 
but I love the green, how it pops off the yellow. So I'm gonna put it right here. I love that water pitcher. Isn't that pretty? Alrighty, so just like that. That is so pretty, gorgeous. Okay, for this side over here, I've got this riser. It's a beautiful white riser. Probably, I think I got this at at home or Home Goods. I, I you know what? Maybe Hobby Lobby. I, I can't remember. It's just a simple white riser. I want to put it on this corner right here right there then on top of the riser i got this little jug you can see right here is pitcher it's got little yellow polka dots so it is got yellow inside so i thought it was perfect for this area so i think i'm gonna put it right on top of the riser but before i do i think i'm gonna put something in it and i have these right here i got these off of amazon they are those gorgeous rolling pins one says Fresh, look how beautiful. And once it's lemonade, I, you know, had these and I think they're just gorgeous. And I thought I would just put them in the picture here. The black and white complements everything and also the yellow of the other ones, so pretty. And then I got me a little mini uh, lemon, y'all can see. I think I'm just gonna put it right there. I have it like peeking out like it's like overflowing, but it's not kind of got nestled right there. So now I'm gonna put it on top of the riser right here. Oh, that looks so pretty. I got to see that. Okay, yeah, there you go. I love that. That looks really good there. And see, um, my ladder ain't blocking, you know, where our light switch, so that's a good thing. Okay, next thing I wanna put, I got this cute little bicycle, and I probably, I think I got this from Walmart. And, and I did put some little purple uh, lilacs in it, just, and uh, in the little greenery thing, it's got this little basket here. I just kind of put them in there, but I think the purple is not like too clashy, you know, with the yellow and the green. So I think I'm gonna add it right there. Oh, that looks so cute. I like that. At first, I mean, I'm gonna live with the purple. I, I don't. I may change them out and put just greenery in this little basket. It's just got one of those little uh, green things where you can just add things to, or you can see. I may take these out and put this greenery. I don't know, but we can always do that later. So I'm gonna put the little bicycle right here. I've had that now for forever. I think a couple years, and I got it from Walmart. So really, really cute. Okay something like right here but nothing big so i'm thinking i'll put this cute <laughs> this little wood it come oh well there you go come from hobby lobby um it came in the spring section 4.99 but you know it's 40 percent off so just a couple dollars i think i'm gonna put it like like something like right there i don't know something right there I just, I just want something here. I don't, I don't know why. It's just like it's, there you go. Okay, I like it right there. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Okay, and then the last little thing I want to put right here, like a little something. Y'all yeah, remember these adorable little salt and pepper shakers that I got off Amazon. Look at these guys. Are they not so darn cute? And, uh, you know, that you can just, you fill them by flipping little wings up. And you just, you know, use them for salt and pepper. But I've not used them yet. I just, I, I love them. Actually, I'm going to order me a second set and use these for decor and the other set for a real, you know, salt and pepper. But I'm going to put these guys, like, you know, kind of like stagger them a little bit. Like something like that. There you go. That is all I'm going to do for this top here. So now we're going to hit the second shelf down here. I'm going to point y'all down a little bit. Now what I'm going to put on the second shelf, I've got this beautiful basket. I've had it in my stash, y'all, probably 10 years. 
I just put like a, a piece of remnant of some gingham green and white I picked up at Hobby Lobby and I filled it full of lemons. And I do have these little mini limes here. I think I got the limes off of Amazon. I can link those if you're interested as well as um, those other things. I'll try to link it so just in case. So anything I've got from Amazon, I'll put it in the description box so y'all can always look for it. But anyway, um, it's just a simple green and white little remnant full of lemons and I do have like a extra greenery ball that is left over and I'm going to probably use this side that stick out and that's all I'm going to do put on this shelf right here that's it that's all I'm going to put I may put y'all point y'all down a little bit more so y'all can see better yeah, I may even see better that's all I'm going to put on this shelf right here is this just that basket of lemons now the third shelf I'm going to add a little something different to it Okay, on the third shelf here, I've got these faux lemon boxes. Y'all remember these here? I got them from Marshall's um, several, several years ago. I think a couple years ago. And they are absolutely gorgeous. And they're in three different sizes. And the first one says fresh citrus. I thought, how perfect. So at first I was gonna put it up on the second shelf, but I think I'm gonna put it at the bottom. So I wanna put the first box right here. And then the second box looks smaller. It says Meyer Lemons, Fresh Citrus, California. But I love the green or white buffalo or gingham, whatever you want to say. I love this, all the, the uh, that's right here. I love that. Again, I, I got it from Marshall's, you know. I think that first one was $9.99. This was $7.99. So I put it right on top. And then it come with a third one, the set. And it was this one right here. The small one, it says Florida grown lemons, fresh citrus. And then on the, on the spot on this one, it says fresh citrus. At first I was gonna put it up on, you know, third like that. I thought, no, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take a okay, picture stand and I'm gonna set it up on it like that. And set it, set it up on the stand right there. I like that. And then I got this little cute little white riser. I'm gonna put it right there. And y'all remember on the last video, all I did on these little, um, how I did these uh, on my, the shelf up there, I did the exact same one to the cloches here. I got an extra lemon. I just put those three set of cloches I cut it from Amazon. And I'm gonna set it right there. I wasn't sure how that was gonna look, but I'm real happy with it. It looks very good. I was going to put this whole set on the second shelf but I thought with the first step so be easy, I want to make the second one a little simple and then that fin then finalize the third one with you know a little bit more busier. I just think that looks much better instead of these the first two shelves so be easy and then the third one kind of like just just that basket. And there you go. I was kind of I'm shocked on how well I like this setup right here. I was kind of really unhappy with. It. I didn't know how it was going to turn out, but I think it looks very good. Okay, well, there you go. That's my total. That's all I'm going to do to this stand. That's all I'm going to do. I really like the way I did the stand. Absolutely love it. Okay, now I'm going to spin you around and we're going to go over here and I'm going to show you the way I've got my shelves over here decorated. Okay, so let me meet you over here. Hang on. Okay, I'm back over here on these shelves. Now, the first thing I did was I put those two bird finials that I bought from Hobby Lobby. You remember my little guy, got a little, his little tail broke. By the way, one of y'all has said that the other one is broke too. And I have looked everywhere and I'm like, it, it's not broke. I don't, I don't know what they saw, but I'm like, no, I mean, it's not missing anything. So, but anyway, I put these two bird finials sitting up here. Kind of put them in the corner. I kept another mini ladder that y'all know I love my mini ladders. And I just put another yellow and white buffalo check tea towel. I got, and then I got a little home sign. I just, I like the way that all kind of looks together, especially from this little rustic um, wall decor I got. I thought that really complement that, you know, each other. Then on the second shelf, I kind of left it alone the way we did do it together, but I did put these faux books here. 
And I did have some faux fruit, these yellow fruit on that stand that we just got finished decorating. I brought them over here. And actually I just put the yellow apple here and I kept the same Crocs, these gorgeous Crocs here. I, this, I love them. There's certain things that I've got and I got this off of Home Goods. I love these things. I love the, the way they are. The same thing with my olive oil. I think I'm gonna try to get a little collection going of this stuff. I get it from Home Goods and I just never seen them before. But anyway, this one says oregano. Uh, this one says mint. And I got a cutting board in behind right. it sitting on a little riser and I got a little mint sign. Mo most of this stuff come from Home Goods or Hobby Lobby. And I, I just kind of kept that same thing. All I did was change out the books and then, of course, put that little faux apple right there. You know, bring some yellow to that shelf. All right, and then the third shelf, uh, all I did was I uh, got this uh, three plant thing here. I got it from Hobby Lobby. I love the little burlap that's sitting in it. I've had it for quite a long time. I just put it here, cocked it a little bit, and then on this side here, I got my little fat bird that I showed y'all in a haul. Look at him. He is just too cute. He is a little fat little guy, is he not? I think I got him oh from Home Goods actually. Yeah. Home Goods. I just loved him. I thought the way he was um, the coloring and the material kind of complimented my crocs on this shelf here. And then here I just got a old um I've had it for quite a while. You know, a wreath. So I just kinda bend some of the florals up some and then set my little bird right in it. And I thought that really looked good, you know, together. Now on the next shelf down here, um, what I did, I got these faux baskets and these are ceramic. They come from uh, Home Goods, and you know, they kind of look like, you know, what you get in the grocery store, like those little baskets with strawberries and stuff. That's what I use to put in them, like my faux fruit. But I got a yellow one and a white one and I just kind of set the yellow one and the white one again to bring some yellow to the shelf. And then the other faux fruit that I had on that stand over there is this pineapple. I just, you know, just that one a simple was surrounded. I got it from Home Goods. And I just put him right there. And then on the next thing I got is a huge, like huge greenery ball. I just is this one of those big ones you can get by anywhere. Is this one of those, you know, big I think I got this one at TJ Maxx or Marshalls or something. And I try to bring some greenery to kind of, you know, go with that one. And then the last thing, I, I had this before. Um, this is you know, a large planter box somewhat, and I got it full. I've got greenery balls. Um, I got these from Kirkland's, and then I got this one here from Hobby Lobby. And I just filled it full of those little, uh, some greenery, and that's all I did. And I had this before, the way we had it decorated. And that's it. And that's all I've done through these shelves. And I really like how it's, I've got the yellow popping here and there and then the greenery. And I thought it would complement the way I've got the shelving um, also and everything on the wall. So I really, really like that. So I'm gonna bring y'all up and show y'all this thing over here. This is a wreath I had bought at uh, Home Goods, And um, I had to docker it up because it was quite a mess. I actually did add some more lemons to it, but um, I had to fix the greenery because it was broken. And um, But I kind of re-weaved it here and had to hot glue some areas. And I kind of staggered some of the lemons on it. I think I've got enough lemons. I don't want to be over abundance of lemons. But now these little white flowers here, I'm thinking I'm gonna take them off. I, I did take off some and I left just a few, but I think I'm gonna take them all off. So anyway, that's, um, I really like the way the lemon kind of ends with my wreath here. And I just put it up on my farmhouse mirror. And then there you go. And then that's it. And that's all I've done over here. And I love my lemons. I've got on my wreath here. The yellow I got here on all these shells. And then I got continuing on on the wall we did together. And then it ends here on that stain I've got. I, I love how the lemon is really, really popping. You know, the yellow to me, when I walk in here in the dining room, it just... I don't know, that the yellow just puts a smile on my face because it's kind of bright and cheerful, you know? And then when I get my new chairs, I think it's all gonna come together. I'm just so excited. Okay, so now with that said, I'm gonna show y'all one last thing that I wanna do 
for the rest of my tablescape. I did kind of do like a spring, early spring tablescape. I still haven't changed that up. I couldn't really do nothing with Easter, you know. Uh, I would, you know, that, that was a nightmare. But I want to do a few little things for the middle of my table that kind of I think will bring my tablescape like together, together. And plus, it'll match everything I got going on. So let me push y'all back and we will finish that up. And then the video will come, come to a close, okay? All right, so I'll be right back. Okay, the first thing I did for my tablescape, I, I, I did show y'all uh, somewhat. I did have a wreath there, and then I had a white picture full of beautiful white tulips. I took the tulips off, and then I changed the wreath, um, you know, to a different one. You know, I want something a little lighter. And then I had an old piece of uh, pit berry. Now, Eleanor, I, I love her. She's always comments on every one of my videos. So there's a, there's like, 15 to 20 of y'all can, I mean, I can always I bank on y'all making a comment, and that really means a lot to me. Uh, Eleanor's one, Diane is one, um, Gail is one, I can go on and on, but Eleanor had mentioned, she said, hey, Sheila, when we was doing, doing the video here when I was uh, on the uh, mug rack, she said something about pig berries, and I'm like, oh, girl, I gotcha. Actually, Arlene in Arlene's Country Corner, she had turned me on to pitberrybarn.com, their pit berries, I mean, their quality, it, you cannot match it. I mean, it is, oh my goodness, it's spectacular. So I'm waiting on an order from there. So that's why I was going to put a bit berry garland, kind of wind it all up in the mug rack here, but I hadn't got the, you know, the, my, my order yet, so I couldn't really do it. But when you had made a comment about, you ought to put some pit berries on my girl you read my mind <laughs> so but Eleanor yes I I, I got gotcha. you but anyway I did have like a a piece like a I had got from AC Moore you know before they went out of business and y'all probably did see I did have it kind of laying right up on this thing here um when we I don't know maybe when I did a video well I put the piece together and I come up with this here and I kind of fastened it together and y'all can see this pit berries are like very thin you know, but the one I got on order is much, oh my goodness, y'all, so we're going to do another video coming up. I'm going to use that. But anyway, I kind of weave this all together. And then I had this wreath here. So what I did was, um, because the yellow, I just laid it on top of this. Let me see if I can put it on there. there. I'm laying it on, as you can see right here, on this wreath. And I love the yellow and white of the pit berries along with the greenery of the wreath. And this here is gonna be part of my centerpiece for my tablescape. So um, and I'll kind of play with it and zhuzh it up some, but I just love how this looks. But uh, when I do get my other pit berries in from, you know, from my order, I've got, you know, I may add them to this or um, I've got, like I said, I've got other plans for it. But anyway, this is how I got it. I think it looks really, really nice for a remnant, you know? So I'm gonna put it um, in the middle of my table. But before we finish up, before I show y'all that, I went on Amazon and I ordered some lemons. And y'all know I'm really, really heavily decorated with lemons. Well, I got this package here and it's 30 of them and there's lemon and limes. And I um, was going to decorate some areas with them. Well, um, I didn't think I had enough and you know, this is extra. Well, I was at Home Goods and I found this beautiful, beautiful like fishbowl. This uh, fishbowl, a pocket berry jar, I guess maybe. It's this gorgeous, beautiful. I love it. I thought, you know what, Sheila? Let's fill this full of lemons and limes and use it as part of your tablescape. So that's what we're going to do. I'm, I'm going to use those lemons and limes, fill up this beautiful fishbowl, I guess that's what I'm going to call it, a pocket berry jar, and we're going to use it. There in the middle, okay? So let me point you out down, we're gonna go and fill it up, okay? And I thought that would look so beautiful inside of that greenery. I'm like, I just know it's gonna look good. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna point you out down and we're gonna go and fill it up. All right, so there we go. Sorry for all the rustling. These are, I mean, they're they're pretty good size, you know. Um, you can see how beautiful they are, gorgeous. So I'm just gonna put. I'm gonna mix up the lemon and lime. Okay. 
try to stagger them where I can get them about mix them all up, you know. And this is what I'm talking about. I thought that would really look pretty as part of my tablescape. So, I'm gonna keep messing around with it so I get it just so. There we go. That looks, um, then that, that looks beautiful. I'll keep messing around with it so I'll make sure I've got like lemon lime, lemon lime or something. So then, I got some leftover and we'll, I'll fix, I may fill up a, a, another poppy care jar with the rest of these and put them somewhere in the kitchen. So let me bring this over. So first I thought, that's what I thought. I put it in there like that. It looks good, but I've got this. It's actually a plant stand. Um, and this right here is actually from the sticker from the price from Hobby Lobby. Yeah, I can see it. it's gorgeous like cement. I thought, let's see what this looks like. Yeah, no, I don't like that. But we'll just put that over. And then put this here in the middle. I like that. So now uh, let me go ahead and kind of finish, you know, straighten up and putting all of my table back together. And then we'll come back and we'll put, and we'll bring this video to a close. Okay. All right. I said, all right, I'll be right back. All right, y'all. Well, that's going to wrap up today's video. I am having a hot flash. Whew, I tell you, I, 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 this, by the way, this video may be late. I'm actually filming this on the day uh, on Wednesday. I'm coming off on a two day migraine. And then after I take my shots, it kind of gives me hot flashes afterward. So um, it may be late, I'll, I don't know, it may be a Thursday or Friday, and I do apologize, but these migraines from all the pollen, maybe one day I'll do a video about my migraines if y'all are ever interested in it for all you migraine sufferers out there. But anyway, um, that's it, that's gonna wrap up today's video. Going forward again next week, we'll, you know, we'll visit here, show you my new chairs, kind of, uh, and if, if I do kind of put my hands in it and kind of juice things up here and then, you know how you gotta live with thing a few days and then you go and you start moving, changing things around. Um, and I may do like a mini tour and then of course show you all my new chairs. And then we'll start decorating uh, some other areas of my home. Um, after that, you know, we may go outside, things. So there's lots more coming up and I can't wait to get started. But before you go, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. Also, if you're new here, I will be so honored if you would go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join my little YouTube family. And for those who've been around since day one, y'all will always have my heart. Alrighty, well, until next time, sending all of my love from my home to yours. Happy decorating. Bye-bye. See y'all really soon. Here, what I decided to do, I have a little concrete 
it's a plant stand actually. And what I did was I set the wreath on it. You can see, oops. I set the wreath on it and then I put those pit berries on top of it. And then I set the fish bowl of lemons and limes. And I love how this looks now. But anyway, that's, thought I'd interject here to show y'all how I change it up. Okay, back to the video.